Welcome to I Love Stocks, and today we're going to talk about a stock called SHMP, Natural Shrimp and Company. Natural shrimp, over one ton, one billion tons, and I'd say that, one billion tons of shrimp is consumed in the United States on a yearly basis. That's an average of 4.1 pounds per human being, and I eat that much at least I probably fit in the 30 pound category, maybe the 50 by the end of the year. Every time I go out, I add shrimp to my meal. If it's on the table, if it's on the menu, and I also cook probably oh, you know, four pounds a year at home. About every other month, I go out and buy a bunch of shrimp. And it's one of the un, most unregulated industries out there right now. And it's the most consumed seafood that comes out of the ocean. So I'm very hysterical about shrimp itself i think this company can really grow vegas and i called this trade out about three years ago and it ran up to 94 cents i think we're on a rebound to make that double top into the year of 2021 so we're down here at the bottom i called it really at a cheap price they also teamed up with a company called epicom not the eco Ponex systems international llc They'll be charged a lot of the marketing. They take about 49% of the stake into the company as Natural Shrimp will own 51%. They're also building a big plant in Texas right now. And this is about the consumption. You can always check that out on the internet. And they're building a big, huge plant in Texas. It's a 40,000 square foot facility. And I think it's double the, the last one they built. So they're going to be adding, adding three times as much product production into the company and I'm excited about that let's go ahead and go right into the chart and take a good look at it this is what I've called out in the room back during this date right here right when it was right around 10 cents I wanted to try to scalp it see if I can get under nine and I wasn't able to do that but I did capture some and put it in my big account and ever since then we've had a 100 percent run and we did break out to 2079. So I'm going to be start scalping this thing again. And I'm going to look for a little pullback. Maybe if I can get in it at a lower entry. I think this thing can run. We're going to look at the three year real fast. But did call it down in here. And we've had a nice run up. And now we've really had a real good run right in here. A little choppy. I expect it to pull back a little bit. And then break that resistance level of that 2079 high. Let me see if I can find another chart in here. This is my SMA. You see how it run up? Let's go ahead and look at the yearly. How we broke out of the yearly, the 50 SMA right here, and we started running up. I've got different resistance levels that I think we can get to, and I want to show you the three-year chart. This is the three-year run that Vegas and I called back here when it ran almost to a dollar. And then we had a fat finger on this one right here. I'm not too skeptical. I'm skeptical about that, but it did stop at this resistance level right here at 76.80. Whoops, wrong one. Let's go ahead and get this on here. The 76.80 area. We'll put one right here at 60.39 and this right in here. Then we have some more resistance levels right in here that we're going to get to. So basically, if we break out of that high this coming week, or we pull back, first I'm going to give you the pullback idea. We'll go to the daily. Let's go ahead and go to the 10-day, 20-day. It can either pull back to this first support channel. I do have an alert set at 1690. I'm going to raise this up just a little bit so I can prepare myself into the trade. We'll raise it up here right around 1711. And when that pulls back and hits that alert, I'm going to be watching for it to get down into these other channels unless it holds this support level here at 1747. I'll definitely be watching it. We've had a trend line that ran up and it could stop here right here at this 18, 1803. And this trend line as the day progresses will keep going higher and higher. We do have a resistance to break at 1947. And if we do break that 2031 area, we can take it up to the 27 mark. And I'm going to pull that up on the yearly. And these will be my next resistance levels. 2226, 2406, and 2729. And if we can break that 
pivotal area. We did break a hard resistance here on the year, and that was right down here, right around 1837. So if we can break 2729, we'll get up to these higher areas. But for right now, I want to see it pull back a little bit so I can get back into the trade on a scalp. No lower than this 1841, I would like to see it hold. Strong buy down here at 1711 with a resistance to break right here, right around the 20. I'm going to say on the, on the daily one minute, right here around 2075 will be the hard resistance. And that's shrimp. Keep a good eye on it. It's on my watch list. I alerted this back a few, few times back in the, uh, um, that, that plant they're building, San Diego, it's near San Antonio, Texas. It's going to be a huge system. It's going to be really, really something to really admire this coming year to be watching on the year of 2021. And also, just want to show some evidence here that I was calling this back a couple months ago. In the chat room, alerted it right around the 9-2 area, so it's a great idea for a swing. I also added it to my challenge account that I had going on back then and scalped it for a small for a small buck and then saying, watch the tape, the buys are coming in, and this was back on 8-11. So ever since then, it's had a pretty good little run. We're going to keep a good eye on it. I think it can pull back to this 18, and that's going to be a very strong buy. Resistance to break at 2075. Shrimp. Always remember, go to our website. We do have a little Twitter bird right here. You can follow it. Miss Vegas is posting alerts in here all the time. She's really motivated about General Motors right now. We did call Disney too. It had a real nice run the other day. Disney, I think it needs to pull back some, a little irrational. And we have some other calls that we put in here on a daily basis. Also on the website, we do have hookups to our stock twits. You can follow us on stock twits, and we post alerts in here all the time. One thing that I like to say every morning, if you wake up in the morning and think the future will be brighter, it is a bright day for you. Always remember, I love stocks.